everyone. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial featuring the Geek Chic Cosmetics Moon Prism Power Makeup Collection, which is brand new, just came out as of today. I recently did a review video on the entire collection, so if you want to check that out, look down in the description box below. It's a full review on all 12 shadows. Now, the limited edition tin is only available for a short time, so be sure to check it out soon if you are interested in getting the tin. However, the individual shadows will still be available for purchase as they're part of the permanent collection. I chose some of my favorite eyeshadows in the collection to create this look. So I hope you enjoy it. Now let's go ahead and get into the Moon Dust Eyes tutorial. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to be using the Power Up Primer from Geek Chic Cosmetics. And let me tell you, this primer is ridiculously amazing. You can't even see it. It's completely clear and I mean, it, it just feels like really light silicone when you, can you see it? You can't see it when you um, put it on your skin. But what I found really amazing with this, and a trick that I've learned to do with primers is I have really, really oily, oily eyes and they, they crease, they get all over the place, especially underneath my eyes. If I use any concealer, I mean, it can be the driest concealer and by the end of the day, I get creasing. So what I started doing was using a primer and putting like an eye primer and putting the eye primer underneath the under circles of my eyes and then putting my concealer on top of that and it worked really well. But I still had um, a few problems just depending on the primer. My usual primer, uh, my go-to primer would be Urban Decay's Primer Potion and Original, but now that I've tried the Power Up Primer underneath my eyes, oh my goodness, it is the most amazing thing I've ever, ever used to set my concealer. It was fantastic. I actually even used it. Um, I've, I've been under a lot of stress lately, so I've like broken out all over my chin, all over my cheeks and stuff. And I used the under eye primer on some spots that I've been breaking out on and then put concealer over it. It made the concealer last so much longer. So I really, really highly recommend trying their power up primer. So enough about that, me going on and on. I'm going to use the primer and apply it all over the lid all the way up to my eyebrows. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna take a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in 601 Black Bean, and I'm going to apply it just to the outer third of my eyelid, and stopping at the corner of my eye. So creating basically like a really messy triangle. Then I'm gonna give that just a second to set. All right, now that that's had a moment to set, I'm just going to take my finger and very, very lightly sort of smear it in, extending it ever so slightly onto the eyelid. All right, now I'm gonna be taking a crown brush. This is C457. It's just, I forget the name of these. I haven't, I haven't memorized them yet. It's just a larger shadow brush, I guess you could say. And then this is the Geek Chic Cosmetics Sailor Moon Shade Rainbow Moon Heartache. I'm just going to take a little bit that's just in the lid there already and apply that to my brow bone. Alright, now using a BH Cosmetics. This is from the Rose Gold set. I think this is like a smaller, medium, flat shadow brush. I'm going to use the Geek Chic's Cosmetic shade, this amazing shade right here. It's called uh, Tuxedo La Smoking Bomber. And this shade is ridiculous. I can't even, I mean, it just, I can't even. And I'm going to apply it where I applied the black bean eye pencil. as well as pulling it very lightly up above the crease, continuing the same, same line that we applied the eye pencil. And I actually like to use a little bit on my finger. I find with these really shimmery loose pigments, it applies a little bit better. And then just pat it on. And yes, there's going to be fallout with this shadow there is going to be fallout. So I don't have a problem cleaning up the fall. It doesn't bother me. If you want to put a tissue or 
whatever you'd like to stop the fallout, then by all means go for it. Brush off a little fallout there. See how pretty that is? Isn't that just like amazing, gorgeous? Oh, I, it, I can't even stand it. All right, now I'm going to take the shade Mercury Aqua Mist. It's this one right here, so pretty. And I'm going to be using a, let's see, where's my brush? Here it is. A Crown C459 Shadow Brush. And I'm going to apply that onto the inner half of my eyelid and lightly blend it a little bit over the center of the dark shade. And I'm going to really focus on kind of patting the two together in the center smudging them in together. All right, and then same thing using my finger going to apply directly on. All right, now I'm going to take the shade Queen of Darkness, which looks like this. And I'm going to be using a let's see. This is from the BH Cosmetics Rose Gold Collection again. Uh this is just sort of a pencil brush or pointed tip brush, however you want to say it. And I'm going to use that and apply that above the crease and lightly into the inner part of my nose. This is kind of like a transition shade. It's just going to provide a little bit of shadowing and it's going to nicely blend out the edge so it's not just like, you know, a vibrant sky blue against my skin, <laughs> against the paleness of my skin. Kind of darkens up the eye just a little bit, adds a little bit more haziness, breaks up the color. All right, now I'm gonna be using a BH Cosmetics fluffy blending brush just to soften the edges just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take a NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in 606 Baby Blue and I'm going to apply it to the inner corner of my eye as well as a little bit underneath my eye. Just like that. And give that just a second to set. While that's setting, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. Alright, once that's set a little bit, I'm just going to really, really lightly blend it in with my fingers. Not taking all of it off, just a teensy bit. And then I'm going to take, then I'm going to take a BH Cosmetics Detail Brush and go back into the shade Mercury Aqua Mist, which is that really pretty light blue. And I'm going to apply that right over where I applied the baby blue NYX pencil. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply some waterproof mascara to the base of my lashes. Alright, next I'm going to take Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Ink. I think this shade is only available in a set that came in this size. And I don't remember what it is. I'll put it above because I do not recall. And I'm going to apply that to my lashes. Sorry, I can't I'm, not, I'm terrible at talking and applying at the same time. And I'm going to stop it right about where the light blue meets the dark shade. And then I'm going to create a nice wing. As well as on the roots of my bottom lashes just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to be taking a really pretty Sephora liquid eyeliner. This is from, oh, this is Sephora and Pantone Universe. I want to say this is an old collection. I, I've had this for, well, I, I haven't had it for too, too long. I think I've had it for six months, but I haven't, I hadn't really had a chance to use it my first time using it. And 
Oh man, you'll see above, I can't remember, you'll see above what it's from, but it's a really, really pretty sort of dark teal blue with a lot of shimmer. I really love the way it looks. And I'm going to apply that on the inner part of my eye for my liner. I'm not too keen on the brush because the bristles keep separating, but I'm making it work because it's pretty and that's what matters. And then I'm also going to use it just on the roots of my bottom lashes. Now I'm going to be using a BH Cosmetics uh, sort of small angled eyeliner brush. It's part of the Rose Gold set and Max Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. I'm going to give that a quick little squirt and then dab a little bit of the excess liquid on a napkin. I'm going to go into that Tuxedo La Smoking Bomber, that really pretty dark shade, and take some of that on the wet brush. And I'm going to dab that over the end of my eyeliner where ink is just so I can kind of blend it in more and hey you know I'm obviously in a really sparkly mood today because I can't get enough of the sparkle I mean with this sparkle would you be able to I don't think so Now, when you're doing this sort of thing, it's really important not to pull because you will smear that eyeliner completely off. I am just patting it on. There you go. Can you see it? So, we definitely have a wing eyeliner, but it's blending more into the shimmer than anything, which is what I really wanted. All right, now I'm going to go back to my BH Cosmetics Detail Brush, go into... Tuxedo, uh, should I just call it the pretty glittery dark black thing? <laughs> I keep wanting to say it wrong. Tuxedo La Smoking Bomber. There we go. Tuxedo La Smoking Bomber. Gotta say it again like five times fast. And I'm gonna apply that and blend it over ink that we applied on the bottom lashes just to kind of set it, smudge it out a little bit, give it some, some smokiness. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara to top and bottom lashes. All right, so now it's time for a little bit of cleanup. I'm using a Coastal Sands Flat Buffer Brush, and I'm just going to lightly first dust off any of the excess shimmer that may have fallen. Fell on this side, too, because I have not set it yet. Oh, me. Okay, I'm going to be using a CoverGirl True Blend Fix Stick in L5 through 7. And I'm going to lightly just apply in three strokes under my eye and very, very gently blend that in with my finger. Careful not to swipe it off, more like pressing it into the skin. That way I'm not pulling off or smearing it completely off. Once that's done, I'm going to be using my other Coastal Sense Flat Buffer Brush and my Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation in, I think this is Fair, yes, Fair. And I'm going to use that to set the concealer. And the finishing touch is going back to that baby blue NYX pencil and I'm going to apply that to the waterline, which is a little unconventional, but I like it. And that's it. That's the finished tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it.